Hello YouTube! Welcome! Today I'll show you how to configure a Raspberry Pi to check for issues on a schedule and to send out email or text alerts if an issue is found. A quick disclaimer first, it'll really only send emails, however, most cellular carriers provide an interface where an email will be transferred to an SMS text message, and therefore, if we can email, we can also send out SMS text using this. So, how will we do this? First, we have to configure the Pi to have email capability. For this, I'll use the SSMTP package. So we'll update our repository with sudo app git update. Then we install the SSMTP package with sudo app git install SSMTP. Now, to be able to use command line scripted tools, we'll install the mail tools with sudo app git install manutils. To configure the service, edit etsy smtp smtp.conf and add or edit the following. These settings are used for the Google email service. If you choose to use a different email, you'll need to change the mail hub parameter to match the SMTP server and port that your provider suggests. Either way, auth user and auth pass should contain the actual email address and password for your account. Since the email user and password is hard coded like this, I don't recommend using your personal email account. You should create an email account just for this alerting and then use that. The last configuration we need is to tell the Pi who can send these emails. So edit Etsy SMTP rev aliases to contain the root and Pi accounts and any other account you may be using to run these alerts. Then set the permissions on smtp.com so that user accounts can read it. And now we test. First the command line. Type the following command with your email, echo test message, pipe mail dash s, test email, and then your email. You should receive the email in just a few moments. If you change the email to the SMS email address portal, it should arrive just like a text message. If not, you need to go back and check your settings. Or check the log at var, var log mail error. I created two scripts for this, one to test and one for monitoring. Let's copy them both to the apps tank folder on the Pi. A quick look at mail test PHP. This is very similar to the command line test we just did, but from PHP. Set the to to any desired email address. Subject and message can say whatever you like, and from should be one of the accounts we configured on the Pi to send email from. Edit this to have the above settings and then run it from the console with php space mailtest.php. If all goes well, you now have a script that sends emails. Edit this to make it send whatever you want. That's what I did with sendalerts.php. This script does a few things. I configure it to subject and from just like before but we're gonna leave the message blank and populate that based on what issues are found. To determine if there's an issue with the tank temperature, we first connect to the settings table in MySQL and get the settings from the desired temperature and max delta. Now we connect to the recent table and get the most recently reported temperature, top off duration, and timestamp. With this, we can compare the current temperature to the desired and send an alert if it's too high or too low. Also, if there's been no top-off activity, that may mean we have a float sensor that's stuck, so we send an alert for that. And finally, if there's no records at all in over a minute, it may mean that the Adreno is not communicating with our Raspberry Pi, so we're going to send an alert for that also. The last step is to check if there were any alerts found, and if so, send an email. i also make a small grammar adjustment to the subject line if there was more than one alert. I decided to have this run twice a day at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. To do this, I added it to the cron tab as seen here. And that's all there is to it. Instructions and the two HP scripts can be found in the GitHub listed in the description. I have this running for a few weeks and it's worked flawlessly. Next time, I'll be adding a UPS battery board to the Pi. Please post any suggestions or qu questions in the comments. Click like if you liked this and subscribe to see more. And until next time, thanks for watching.